Today we're trying to finish the roof. Uh, we've got uh, some sheathing left to do and then we'll uh, cover it and start shingling as soon as possible. An aging vacant home in a neighborhood with a need for affordable housing became an empty lot. It then turned into a project for the city of Bloomington and Habitat for Humanity. The Housing and Redevelopment Authority uh, ends up uh, uh, keeping an eye open for properties that are available. And I believe in this case, uh, the HRA purchased a property, uh, took down the, the old home and made it available and Habitat uh, could easily come in. One of the big challenges was the uh, roof system on this house had 40 different kinds of roof trusses. Then I had to figure out where each different kind went. Habitat for Humanity builds new homes for families in need at a cost that's affordable to them. The organization sells the home at no profit and keeps the cost down to just materials and some labor through volunteer efforts. There's oftentimes a good mix of people that do know some construction and people that don't know much about construction so that uh, those that do know can help train the ones that don't and pretty soon they all know how to build a house. So many people have an interest in getting this kind of work done for uh, families that are really in need of a simple, decent, affordable place to live. Families living in substandard housing who can't afford improvements go through a long application process that includes a phone interview, orientation meetings, in-person interviews, and finance reviews. Hassan came to Minnesota as a refugee from Somalia for a better life about 19 years ago. Before I moved to the United States, I lived in refugee camps with a hardship and a hard life, difficult situation that I moved to Uganda and I lived there and I had to wait for a long time to make my way to the United States and reach the American dream. Make change and then have or start a family. After moving here, Hassan, who asked us not to use his last name, got married. He and his wife Asha now have four children between the ages of 13 and 7. Hassan works as a teacher for immigrant students at a Minneapolis charter school. He and his family have lived in a three-bedroom apartment for about 10 years. With concerns for their safety and a lack of space, Hassan and his family wanted to find a new home but couldn't afford it. It was my kids who pushed me and motivated me and made me look for something else, a neighborhood that they can feel mm -hmm. happy and they are own and they, they, they can grow. A conversation with a friend taught Hassan about Habitat for Humanity, so he started the process himself. Then one day he got the news. The house would be built and they would move into their new home in Bloomington this fall. We felt happy, uh, especially my kids. They couldn't wait to move out. Uh, it was just a normal day in my house and then my dad came to my room and told me that we'll be moving shortly. I thought like, wow, I never thought we'll be able to move. Knowing the home still needed work, Hassan says he wanted to get involved this summer. Hassan came for the first time uh, maybe halfway through the build and was able to spend quite a bit of time volunteering on this site. I think he put in the majority of his sweat equity hours on this site. Painting um, outside, also uh, laminating floor, and installing the doors. I learned a lot, especially as a home owner. And finally, this month, Hassan and his family are moving in and celebrating with a dedication ceremony. It's wonderful. It fits in well with some of the initiatives that we're, we're uh, working on right now. We're uh, bringing back uh, the welcome wagon concept. Hamza, Jonas, Adam, and Najna saw their new home for the first time. I thought, it's a big house, but we're going to need to keep it clean and organized a place where they feel secure. Our children, I think they will have enough space, their own rooms. They will have a backyard that they can always play. They can have um, their basketball hoop and they can play whenever they feel. I think it's really cool. It's a nice house, it's big. I like the color of the house, green. The nice backyard is big. I think that is very pretty and it has a good backyard. I feel like more relaxed and kicked back and I don't need to worry about like no violence, no crime. I can just live my life to the fullest. This is a wonderful program uh, that helps people, communities overcome uh, the, um, the housing shortage. Uh, Reaching the American dream, having your own property or your own housing for your family and for your kids 
a place that they can feel safe. Hassan says he plans to volunteer with Habitat. It's important that people from different backgrounds continue to support each other. Now it's a crucial time that we have to come together. Habitat is a Christian organization, but we welcome people from all faiths and backgrounds. What they are doing is a very noble job that they're going to bring you, not only people, bring you people together regardless of face, uh, color, uh, national, original nationality, but also helping uh, families who cannot afford uh, housing. Affordable housing, uh, also uh, workforce housing, is something that we are uh, very much in short supply of, so uh, we need to work together uh, to, uh, to increase the availability for families like this. Hassan and his family say they won't forget about all the volunteers and donations made to make their lives better. Uh, I want to thank them. They're so, so nice for building this house, this whole place. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Thanks for building the house for us. Mr. David, the foreman of the house, he was the brain. Mm -hmm. I will not forget for him. I learned a lot from him about house. Because when you are owning house, that means something. So mm -hmm. today it is true, it came true. We are here. One thing is we cannot thank you enough. Mm. Thank, thank you. you.